my name's Adam Marshall and I'm from the Foot Therapy Clinic. Um, we have as brands the shower mat, the Fresh Feet shower mat and the Fresh Feet foot foam and foot scrub. These, excuse me, uh, these products work by the shower mat laying in the bottom of the cub uh, shower cubicle and using the foot foam first allows you to wash your feet by moving them back and forth. Um, the foot scrub works in a similar way where you can squeeze an amount of, of the foot scrub into the middle of the exfoliating island and it allows you to, um, with the balls of your feet and the soles of your feet, exfoliate. Um, also has uh, reflexology nodules so it allows you to massage and invigorate your feet whilst you're showering. There isn't another product like this on the market. Um, it is totally unique and whether you have achy feet and like them to be massaged, whether you have, um, um, you'd like to, uh, your feet to wash in the shower, it allows you to do that, but also comes um, very funkily packaged and is totally a revolution in the shower market, shower, um, uh, shower mat market. Um, thank you very much for listening. Adam Marshall needs £150,000 to launch his invention, the Fresh Feet Shower Mat. But can he convince the Dragons to invest? It's not April the 1st today, is it? This it's is not, not an no. April Fool joke. It's not, no. You serious? I am totally, yes. OK. What percentage of the population of this huge problem with the feet? Um, who have a problem with their feet? Hmm, yeah, well, it depends what you call a problem. You know, I don't have, you know, uh, issues with, with uh, uh, that, I, that I need to exfoliate my feet, but I'm sure that there's a market out there. Because there, there are so many other kind of um, granulated scrubs, exfoliant to use on your feet, but you have to get your hands down there to do it. And it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. Well, can't it be, is, because, you know, and I'm six foot Sit two, down. and in a shower cubicle, I can't tell well, you how mate, dangerous that is. My mate over there is six foot what? Seven foot three. Seven, six foot seven. Six foot seven. Can you touch your feet? Doesn't matter how tall you are. But then could you get your hands out and exfoliate and clean your feet in an effective way on a daily basis? Please. You probably wouldn't be inclined yeah, to do that. Of course that. you could, yeah. Please, just, I will demonstrate. Just for us. <laughs> that seems pretty good from where Very I'm good. sitting. Very it's dangerous, good. it looks to me. <laughs> oh, not now, but not you, but no, in a shower no, cubicle, no. I mean. It's a shaky start for Adam. He'll have to fight hard now to persuade the Dragons to take his product and his bid for investment seriously. As a point of interest, what would the retail price be? Um, £22 for the shower mat, um, £2.90 for each of the two consumables. That sounds expensive for a shower mat to me. It's actually uh, very keenly priced. Shower mats today range from £12 up to £29, which are uh, a better designed products. And is your product on the market now? Are you selling it anywhere? I um, have received orders for from two high street national stores, uh, one being John Lewis and the other one being Shoal, the foot care <coughs> company, who have agreed to stock it in three of their flagship stores. By stressing that prestigious chains are already interested in the shower mat, Adam has captured the dragon's interest. Theo Pafitis, with his years of experience in retailing, wants to know more. John Lewis, how many have they ordered? Uh, 400. So they're just testing, basically, aren't they? They're testing, but it's a unique product. There isn't anything like it on the, in the, market, on the marketplace today. Um, so it is a kind of un, uncharted territory for them and also for, for me and for, for my investors. How much equity are you giving away for the £150,000? Uh, 17%. 17%? Yeah. That's an exact figure. Maybe you'd like it's to a, explain to us how you got It's a starting negotiation there. point. It's a starting negotiation point? Yeah. So you're prepared to give a lot more than 17%? I'm prepared to talk, yeah. The Dragons are often infuriated by the high prices entrepreneurs like Adam want for modest equity stakes in their start-up businesses. Adam has yet to sell a single shower mat, and Richard Farley wants to interrogate him further. You know, from my point of view, you've got an invention which, which may or may not be effective, I don't know, and you've got a few orders, and you're valuing this invention really at over half a million pounds. Um, in year one, yes, revenue. No, 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 but to buy shares today, 
the value of your company is over half well, a million in, in pounds. Well, in year three, the, the exit. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. To buy shares yes. in your company today. The answer is yes. The value of this is over half a million. Do you really think as an invention it's, it's worth that? Uh, now or in year three? No. Today, to buy shares there in your company today, do you really think this is worth... Well, well 150, but £150,000 buys, you know, it's, n it's not an investment that you can particularly lose on because even if it doesn't... No, you can definitely lose on it. I'm buying shares in a company which is valued at but over half a million pounds. If the value of that company goes down, I lose money. That's very simple. So uh, I can uh, lose money. OK, but you're, you're buying stock as well. You're buying stock that has a, a residual value and a resale value. That's so if you can sell it. Of course, but I, I've yeah. got orders to, to back up that I can sell it. Yeah, and I've only got 17% of the company, so even if you sell all that stock, you get back 150 grand, of which I get 17% maybe, but the money comes well, back to business, the company. You're in business, that's the risk you take. Richard Farley isn't impressed by Adam's refusal to acknowledge his concerns, and Theo Pafitis has questions of his own. So where are you manufacturing them? At the moment, this yes, now uh, my my uh, my designers have, have produced these two. So are these the only samples that are around at the moment? Yeah. Oh, I see. So there's actually no stock around. No. So these are prototypes. That's why I'm here today to get money to to get to buy the stock. I need to place large orders for this and large orders for these two consumables, which means the initial outlay that I'm looking for of 150,000 pound, 135 of that would be going into stock. How many units would that buy? 135,000? Uh, 15,000. Uh, so you want to buy 15,000 yes. on the strength of, of an order for four. I've got to commit to this. I've got to spend 10,000 pounds on the tooling. That's so it's all or nothing. You have to go in with 100, nearly 150,000 pounds. Like I've done with lots of things in my life. I, I totally believe in this and I will totally make this work. I don't like that business model. I'd rather start very, very small and find out if this actually sells. So I, I don't think it's worth 150,000 pounds for any amount of equity. I'm out. Adam's plans to tie up tens of thousands of pounds in stock before he's received any significant orders have lost him Richard Farley. He thinks it's too high risk and he's out. Will Theo Pafitis take a different view? Adam, to go and manufacture 15,000 before you know whether it works is madness. It's suicide. You either get the orders and then manufacture which means you actually don't need us. Or alternatively, you do a much, much smaller order and you see if you can get it into the market. That's the only way you can do it. And for that reason, I don't think it's a sustainable business. So I'm out. OK, thank you for your comments. Adam, I just, I just have to tell you, you know, I just think this is absolutely ridiculous. I really do, I think it's ridiculous. OK. And so for that reason, I'm out. With three dragons out in quick succession, Adam's pitch is collapsing. Will Peter Jones or Deborah Meaden rescue his chances of investment? I like the idea. Whether or not it will get used, I suspect it might be one of those products that get a really good idea, put it in your shower once and then it doesn't get used again. Uh, but uh, I think it's incredibly vulnerable. I think that it will be copied in a moment. So I'm afraid for that reason. I do, th I do like it, but I, I, I think it's too vulnerable for me. I'm out. It looks all over for Adam. Only Peter Jones now stands between him and failure in the den. Adam, that leaves me. It does. Um, the big issue for me actually isn't about whether you could probably sell it. The big issue is whether it actually works. I don't think that this is going to do the job of a proper exfoliation of the, of the feet because I know what that Entails. takes to do right now. I think you've done well to take it to where you've got to today, but it's not one for me, I'm out. Adam's hopes for investment have been left in tatters. In the end, he just couldn't convince the Dragons to help him take his prototype to the mass market. He needs to spend 10,000 just to make a few, see if they sell, then go to the next step. Just find out first. Yeah, they won't sell. Well, they started off talking about it as an April Fool, but I think they took you quite seriously, didn't they? I think that they did. I, um, I'm quite disappointed, um, but I think that uh, it, went, it went quite well. It went quite well. Was there any point 
where you thought maybe they really are going to invest. Absolutely, I think that uh, I'm disappointed that I didn't fight my corner a bit, f uh, a bit more and a bit further. If I qualified that it did actually exfoliate, then um, perhaps I'd had investment. We wish you well. Thank you very much.